Okay, so first up, we have lithium chloride. So I'm gonna take the lithium chloride, I just dipped it into the solid, and now you can see it's burning this nice red color. Uh, once the stick starts to burn, it turns that orange color, but you can see that red, that red is that nice lithium color. So, see now the Bunsen burner has gone back to that purple color. So the next one that we're gonna burn is strontium chloride. So I took the wooden splint, dipped it into the strontium, and we get this reddish orange color. Get this nice reddish orange color. So what this is doing is this is burning the strontium from the strontium chloride salts. And then I'm gonna put that into the waste beaker. And then the third one is calcium chloride. So notice Bunsen burner goes back to the purple. Calcium is this nice yellow orange color. So what I'm doing is I'm actually burning calcium chloride salt that's on this wooden splint. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next set of solids now. So I'm gonna dip the wooden splint into the sodium chloride. Hold it in the flame. And this one is this kind of a yellow orange color. So I'm burning all the sodium chloride. And really, what I'm doing is I'm burning the sodium. It's the metal within the sodium chloride. So sodium is the metal, so that's what I'm actually burning when I put it into the flame. So I'm going to dip wooden splint into potassium chloride. So now the metal that I'm gonna be burning is potassium. So this one's harder to see in the video, but it actually burns almost a lavender, so like a lilac or a lavender color. It's very similar to the color of the flame. Um, and so it can kind of be hard to tell, but it does burn a nice lavender color. Now the very last metal that we're going to burn is copper. So I'm going to dip the wooden splint into the copper tube chloride and I'm going to hold it into the flame and we get this nice blue green color. So immediately close to the copper is blue and then the outside of the flame is a nice green color. So those were all six of the metal chlorides and you could see this is actually how fireworks uh, work. The different colors of the metals burn different colors in fireworks and that's how you get the reds and the greens and the whites and the purples. So the one metal that you did not actually see in the lab was barium chloride. So you can see in this picture what the barium flame looks like. So remember when you are burning any metal chloride, you are actually focusing on the metal ion and the, the color that that metal ion burns. So if you take a look at this barium flame, you'll notice it's almost a yellow green color. And so for BA2+, it will burn this yellow green color. And then you can take a look at this flame test summary picture. I know that we didn't do all of the flames that you see here, but you'll notice this is a really good way to summarize in your data table the different colors. So you'll notice how every metal ion does burn a slightly different color. There are some that are all purple, but they're different intensities of color. And so this is going to be the best way to summarize all of the colors in your data table. And if you need to go back and rewind just to compare certain metals like Li plus and SR2 plus, um, you can rewind.